Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve another very very interesting question from radical equations for the real values of x. So let's get started. I will write our equation first. Fifth root of 36x plus 25. In denominator, we can take 8 common out. So I will write here in the bracket x plus 1 plus fifth root of 25x plus 36. In the denominator, we will take 8 common out. So we will write x plus 1 in the bracket. RHS will be 2. Now we will multiply numerator and denominator for both the radicands by 4. Here also we will multiply with 4 in the numerator and denominator. Now I will write our equation. Fifth root of 4 times 36, 144x. 4 times 2500 over 4 times 8 is 32 times x plus 1 plus fifth root of 4 times 25 is 100x plus 144 over 32 times x plus 1. RHS is 2. Now we know that fifth root of 32, which is in the denominator, this will be equal to 2. So we can multiply our equation by 2, both sides. So we can cancel our denominator. So let me write here times 2, which is fifth root of 32. Here also we will write times 2. This side also we will write times 2. Now we can cancel this 2 with denominator 5th root of 32. And RHS will be 4. So I can write equation as 5th root of 144 x plus 100 over x plus 1 plus fifth root of 100x plus 144 over x plus 1 and RHS will be 4 now. Let me write our equation here. Here it is. Now we will consider our first radicand equal to a power 5 and second radicand we will call this is b power 5. So the very first equation we can write here fifth root of a power 5 which is a plus fifth root of b power 5 which is b equal to 4. Now I will add a power 5 with b power 5. Let us calculate a power 5 plus b power 5. This will be equal to 144x plus 100 plus 100x plus 144 with our common denominator x plus 1. So I can write here this will be equal to 244x plus 244 over x plus 1 which will give us 244. So this is our equation number 2. a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 244. This is our equation number 1. Now I will calculate a cube plus b cube first. 
सो आई विल राइट आइडेंटिटी ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब दिस इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब माइनस थ्री ए बी टाइम्स ए प्लस बी नाउ अवर इक्वेशन वन वॉज ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू फोर सो आई कैन राइट फोर क्यूब माइनस थ्री टाइम्स ए बी ए प्लस बी वॉज फोर नाउ आई कैन टेक फोर कॉमन आउट सो इन द ब्रैकेट आई विल राइट सिक्सटीन माइनस थ्री ए बी लेट से दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री नाउ वी विल यूज बाइनोमियल एक्सपेंशन एंड पासकल ट्राइंगल फॉर ए प्लस बी होल पार फाइव so we will use pascal triangle 1 1 for power 2 1 2 1 coefficients we will use for power 3 1 3 3 1 for power 4 1 4 6 4 1 and for required power 5 we will write coefficient as 1 5 10 10 5 1 so we will use these coefficients for our expansion let us write a power 5 plus last coefficient 1 i am writing b power 5 plus coefficients 5 i will club so i will write 5 ab in the bracket a cube plus b cube plus 10 times a square b square in the bracket a plus b now we have three equations if i will write all the three equations here a plus b equal to 4 a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 244 and here we have a cube plus b cube which we will put directly 4 times 16 minus 3 ab let us apply all the values so i will write binomial expansion first here it is a plus b was 4 so 4 power 5 will be our lhs a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 244 a cube plus b cube we calculated 4 times 16 minus 3ab and a plus b was 4 now you can see equation is divisible by 4 so let's divide both sides by 4 first now we can cancel this 4 and 4 we can cancel this 4 and 4 we can cancel 244 with denominator 4 and we can write here 61 and here we will cancel with its power only so it will be left power 4 4 power 4 is 256 rhs will be 61 plus 5ab times 16 so i will write 80ab 5ab times minus 3ab, so I will write minus 15a square, b square, and then we have plus 10a square, b square. Now I will take 61 to the LHS, so 256 minus 61 will give us 195, equal to minus 15a square. b square plus 10 a square b square i will write minus 5 a square b square plus 80 ab now we can divide both sides by 5 we will get 195 over 5 this will give us 39 rhs will be Minus a square b square plus sixteen times a b. Take all the terms to LHS. We will get one quadratic equation in a b. A square b square minus sixteen a b plus thirty nine equal to zero. Now we have to solve this 
quadratic equation in AB. Let me write here. So I will write a square b square minus 16 times ab plus 39 equal to 0. So if we will find factors, we can write factors of 39 as 3 times 13. So it is clearly visible. We will split minus 16 as a square b square minus 3ab minus 13ab plus 39 equal to 0. From first two terms we can take ab common out. So in the bracket we will get ab minus 3. From last two terms we will take minus 13 common out. We will get ab minus 3 in the bracket equal to 0. So we have ab minus 3 times ab minus 13 equal to 0. Now we can apply product 0 rule. We will get ab equal to 3 and ab equal to 30. Now we have equation number 1 a plus b equal to 4. From here I can write b will be equal to 4 minus a. So I can write a times 4 minus a equal to 3 and 13. Or we can write 4a minus a square equal to 3 and 13. Now we can equate both separately. 4a minus a square equal to 3 and 4a minus a square equal to 13. Now we will take all the terms to RHS and we will get a square minus 4a plus 3 and a square minus 4a plus 13 equal to 0. a square minus 4a plus 3 equal to 0 and a square minus 4a plus 13 equal to 0. Now we have to find out real solutions only. Let me take second equation first and I will calculate the discriminant delta value which is b square minus 4ac. So b square will be minus 4a square. I will write 16 minus 4 times 1 times 13. So minus 52 will be there. We will write minus 36. As our discriminant is negative, we will get complex solutions. So we can reject this equation. This will be rejected. Rejected. Now we will solve first quadratic equation. And I can see the factors of 3 as 1 and 3. So I can write a square minus a minus 3a plus 3 equal to 0. A is common from first two terms. So we will write a minus 1 in the bracket. Minus 3 from last two terms. We will get a minus 1 in the bracket. From here we will be getting a minus 1 times a minus 3 equal to 0. Once we apply product 0 rule, we will be getting a equal to 1 and a equal to 3. Now from here I will calculate the value of a power 5 as we have substitution in a power 5. So 1 power 5 is 1, 3 power 5 will be 243. Let me write here a power 5 equal to 1 and 243. Now a power 5 was let me write here 144x plus 100 over x plus 1. This was a power 5 equal to 1 and 144x plus 100 over x plus 1 equal to 243. 
Now we will solve these two equations to get our final and real solutions. So I can write here 144x plus 100. This will be equal to x plus 1. So I can write here 143x will be equal to minus 19. So x will come out minus 99 over 143. This is our first real solution. Now we will solve our second equation. So I will cross multiply 144x plus 100. This will be equal to 243x plus 243. Now I will take 144 to the RHS and 243 to the LHS. So I will write here minus 143 in the LHS and 99x we will get in the RHS. So we will write x will come out negative 143 over 99. So these are two real solutions for our given radical equation. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.